Hey Jack, the lost reindeer. Chapter 1. This is Jack. Today Jack is in a bubbly mood. There's only one more sleep until Christmas. A bubbly mood, huge grin, fizzy, bubbly feeling in tummy, wriggly fingers and toes. Jack is very excited. He is wearing his reindeer antlers. They make everyone laugh. Every Christmas Eve, Jack and his family go to the carols by candlelight. This year, Jack is bringing his best friend, Billy. Jack's parents have packed a yummy picnic basket for dinner. Billy comes over to Jack's house. She has a present in her hands. This is for you, she says to Jack. Merry Christmas. Thanks, said Jack. He doesn't open it yet. Wait here, I'll go and get yours. Jack runs upstairs to get his present for Billy. It is a photo of Billy and him in a frame made out of cardboard. All around the frame are pictures of Billy's favourite things. A soccer ball, an ice cream, even a banana sandwich with sprinkles. Jack drew all the pictures himself. He really hopes she will like it. Jack runs downstairs with the present. Can we open them now? he asks his mum. Sure, she says. Jack unwraps Billy's present first. An Asher CD, he says. She's my favourite singer. Mine too, says Billy. She's singing at the concert tonight. I know, says Jack. I can't wait. Thanks. But then suddenly Jack feels embarrassed about his present. His homemade photo frame is not nearly as cool as an Asher CD. Billy unwraps Jack's present. She smiles when she sees the photo frame. Thanks, Jack, says Billy. Did you draw all the pictures? Jack nods. It's not as good as an Asher CD, he says. Sorry, he feels his cheeks get hot. I love it, says Billy. Jack looks at Billy carefully to see if she is telling the truth. She looks happy, but Jack still feels worried. OK, kids, time to go, says Jack's dad. Jack and Billy jump up and down with excitement. Now remember, says Jack's dad, it will be very crowded at the park. You will have to stay close, OK? OK, promise, Jack and Billy. They climb into the car. Jack's dad puts on the new Asher CD. Jack and Billy sing along with all the songs very loudly. Chapter 2 Soon they arrive. Jack and Billy look out the car window and gasp. What a beautiful sight. The park is filled with people holding candles. In the dark, the candles twinkle like fairy lights. They find a spot for their blanket. They eat cheese and bread and dip for dinner and Christmas cupcakes for dessert. Are you excited about tomorrow, Billy says to Jack? Jack nods. Thanks for the CD, he says. I wish I had a better present for you. Don't be silly, says Billy. I love your present. But Jack still wishes he had something else to give her. Soon it's time for the concert to start. Different singers come on stage and sing carols. Jack and Billy join in when they know the words. Jack's dad lights their candles and they sway to the music. The singers are good, but not as good as Asher. Uh-oh, I need the bathroom, Jack says. OK, said his dad, I'll take you. But I don't want to miss Asha, asked, uh, says Jack. Don't worry, says his dad, we'll be quick. Jack and his dad walk carefully around the people on their blankets. Lots of other people are walking to the bathrooms too. It is very crowded. On their way back, Jack sees Santa by the stage. He is giving out helium balloons. Hey, look, Dad, Santa, Jack says. He runs up to Santa to get a balloon for Billy. He chooses a purple one because it is her favourite colour. 
A purple helium balloon is a cool present. He turns around to find his dad. I got a balloon, he says. But Jack's dad isn't there. Jack's heart starts beating very fast. He runs a little way into the crowd. Then he stands on his tippy toes, but it's no use. There are just too many people. He can't see his dad anywhere. Big, salty tears roll down his cheeks. It's Christmas Eve and Jack has lost his family. Chapter 3 Hey there, little reindeer, comes a woman's voice. Jack looks up through the tears. He gasps, it's Asha, standing right there in front of him. He quickly wipes his nose on his sleeve. What's wrong? Asha asks. I'm lost, sniffs Jack. Oh dear, says Asha. How did that happen? Jack looks down at his toes. I was with my dad, he says, but then I stopped to get a balloon from Santa and I lost him. Well, I'm on the way to the stage, Asha says. Why don't you come with me and I'll see if we can find your parents? Asha takes Jack's hand and leads him through the crowd. Lots of people stare at him walking with Asha. She is very famous. Jack feels proud. He can't wait to tell Billy. When they get to the stage, Asha sits Jack down on the step. Just wait here, she says. Then he walks. she walks up onto the stage. Merry Christmas, everyone, Asha says into the microphone. Everyone in the crowd cheers. They have all been waiting for Asha to sing. Thank you, thank you, she says. I will be starting in a few minutes. But first of all, I just found a lost boy in the crowd. His name is Jack and he's wearing ant reindeer antlers. Can his mum or dad come and collect him, please? Asha walks back down to the steps. They should be here soon, she says kindly. I'd better get back on stage now. Will you be all right here? Jack nods. Thank you, he says. But then he has an idea. He almost feels too shy to ask. He takes a deep breath. Um, can I ask you for one more thing, he says. He feels his cheeks get hot. Uh, it's not for me, but it's for my best friend, Billy. Sure, says Asha. What is it? Jack whispers in her ear. Of course, says Asha. And she takes a black texter out of her pocket. Very soon, Jack sees his dad coming towards him. Jack grins and waves. Oh, phew, what an adventure. Jack holds the purple helium balloon tightly in his hand. It was a good present before, but now it's even better. He knows Billy will love it.